Hey everybody, if you know who I am and what I do, we're back still at Four State Common Con. I am the Reverend Godfather, main host and frontman for the internet's most hated Mafia Team Geek Podcast, Long Coat Mafia Podcast. We are again still at Four State Comic Con. This is Artist Alley. We're gonna be showcasing them and those here. So this is might be the same amount of time as uh, the vendor area, but but I want to give them their own spotlight, their own video. This is Artist Alley. They deserve their own video, their own spotlight. So take it. Oh, oh, oh. Where's my Pokeball? I want to capture a, a wild Matt Burns. What is the one? <laughs> Matt Burns, everybody. Matt Burns. We give him a lot of credit. We give him a lot of hassle, too. So that being said, let's take a walk on the Artist Alley side for this. So let's flip this around. And let's go. First up is Shasky's Hus. So Huskies illustrations, and that's their information. So check them out at that website. If there's anything you see on their website, um, find out. You can probably purchase stuff there. Some of their work. And one of the author, author, right? Author. Okay. Now, Artist Alley here at 4C has like a mix of artists and authors here today and this is one of the many authors here today and it's William G. Howard. I know uh, because we live in a new age, I am pronouncing that right, correctly? Yes. Okay. I don't want to find out it's like, it's pronounced Bob. So, <laughs> so no, it's um, William G. Howard. <laughs> and you can find some of the works, his works here. Can make that out. I'll take one of his cards and put the links in the description so you could find it. Uh, if you want, that's my uh, best card. Uh, uh, this has a better description of, of my most recent work, uh, Marigold. Okay, but still, this is his. I'll get it off the video. I'll try to put the link okay. in the description, folks. That way, if you're interested in his works, you could uh, find it and buy the works outside if you're somewhere like Montana or. Uh, or Kentucky or someplace else out here at Four State this weekend. Can you tell me some, a little bit about your work? Uh, for those of it uh, interested. Uh, I deal with uh, a universe where the insects are dominant and my first book was about uh, trying to prevent the destruction of the galaxy by this incredibly powerful weapon, the Eye of Hermes. And I'm currently working on a sequel where uh, the Eye of Hermes has met its match in the Sword of Askeland, and the Sword of Askeland might wind up destroying the Eye of Hermes, and it's being wielded by the daughter of the Empress of the Galaxy. And my late, uh, my book from last March is Marigold. It's about an android who is wrongly accused of murder, and she needs to clear her name while preventing a virus that will change animal cells into plant cells and create plant zombies and if that sounds interesting to you folks uh, again find them at this location William Howard author 70.com and other available on Amazon and on Barnes and Noble okay so folks if you like uh, they're also uh, e-reader friendly on Amazon uh, yes I am so if you're one of those types of folks that live in a very tiny spot and prefer an ebook, you can do, the, do it like that and have them convenient on your favorite tablet of choice, whether it be a Amazon Fire or whatever type of device that has the Kindle app to it. So, as always, if you don't like what the bigger authors are giving you, independent author. So, give, uh, give them a shout out and let's try. We have, we have another many independent right, authors. Oh, 10 minutes. Ten minutes, and artist Garmar, very detailed drawing. It's about ten, almost ten thirty. Hopefully, we'll come back and give, speak to Beth Martin about her book. She's not here right now, so hopefully, we'll come back to her because I'll let her be able to tell all of you out there about her books because she deserves. Uh, just like William over there. 
she deserves a, a right to tell you about her works as well. And for those who might be interested about her works, that is her links. I'll snag a card. That way I could uh, uh, easily, easily link her to this video. And she's a song. So we met this gentleman many times before. How you doing? You want to shake your hand, but you got right, your yeah, right right here. Switch up. it up. Switch it Switch up. Switch it up. How are you doing? How is she going? Good, good, good. Just here promoting Invisible with my wife, Patty, and my mother. How you guys doing? Uh, good, how are you? Podcast. Oh, nice. Podcast. Uh, which Long one? Coat Mafia Long podcast. Coat Mafia, okay. So, I might come back around to see in regards to recording the panel, but uh, that, it's, you know, Andrew said, oh, you get, you know, it's all right. And I was like, I'd rather get permission from the person doing it, it gives them the opportunity yes. to say no. Yep. Well, so, uh, we're cool. I'm not, I'm going to come back around and get, so not, I'm not putting you on pressure now. So I'll, okay. I'll come around and. Do you need to sign, do you need no, to no, sign a release? No, 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 it's, it's up to you. Hold on, let me, are you recording now? Uh, this now, this is just a general uh, promotional thing. Don't worry, but, like, don't say, worry. You have permission. <laughs> so, and, uh, Clayton, Pot, Arthur, and when you went, a lot of the artists are probably getting, still getting more stuff in in regards to some of their share things. And who cannot forget this wonderful gentleman right here, Mr. Ken Hunt, the legendary Ken Hunt, or can we say Ken? Did he draw that hunt? <laughs> but uh, that's old, man. So, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but still, we gotta mess with you somehow. Oh, uh, but you, you're, you're, you can't, for those who, you get that. for those who don't know, Ken Hunt has been a four-state standard here in Hagerstown, and a lot of the four-state comic cons that have been in existence. Ken's been a wonderful standard. He's been a wonderful, he's a wonderful, awesome artist selling great prints like this, like this print here, plus many others, including this exclusive four seat print. And if you have a chance to meet this gentleman, meet him, buy stuff from him, as well as the other independent authors in Artist Alley. So many great people here today. So many great people. And speaking of great people, we have Jericho's Bane, one of the other great indie creators here in Artist Alley. You're the man behind it? I'm the man behind it. Tell us about your, your creation, sir. So, Jericho's Bane is a novel written by yours truly, the most incredibly charismatic unknown author you've never heard of, <laughs> Errol J. Knight. <laughs> and uh, you give me a second here and I'll get the book set up for you. And it's a world that takes from the beginning well, of time while, to apocalyptic. While you're setting up, tell me a little bit about it, if you could do both at the same time. All right, I sure will. So, my world starts at the divide in heaven. And I give you an inkling that Lucifer's uncovered a nefarious conspiracy that God tried to keep under wraps. And when this is found out, he is stripped of his rank and sent down low. Now, this calls animosity, anger, seeps out of him, infects his cohorts, and before you know it, his brother versus brother, sister versus brother, ark versus demon. Total chaos and mayhem has come to the halls of heaven. So much so that by the time it is done, the city is laid waste. Now we all know what happens next. In a subsequent trial, he's banished to earth. 250,000 years he's on earth thinking one thing. Unseat God. A thought that is impossible. But I'm the author, so it's possible. The mere thought <laughs> breaks reality, offsets prophecy. He's no longer hellbound. And he does this by creating an entity named Imperial. And behind Imperial, he builds his forces. Now God will not let this stand, so he unleashes the arcs of old. Gabriel, Mike, Raph, they come down to deal with this threat. Only to find out that Lucifer has encoded it with human DNA. Making the arcs powerless, as they cannot intervene in the affairs of mankind. But there is always hope. There is a bloodline that has been dormant since the time of the kings. And that bloodline is none other than that of Samson himself. Modern day, descendant named Jericho has the bloodline of Samson. It is reactivated and he is set on course, hopefully, to defeat the Imperial threat and set prophecy back on track. Now, I will say this. Since I do a lot of, like, independent author reading, yeah. I will say, outside of Four State Comic Con, this image of Jericho's being this image uh -huh. has come across my feed. 
Yo, has it? Has it? It has. Oh, I love seeing that. So I don't know if I have it in my library to read. Uh huh. Because it was probably one of those. Oh, buy it for 99 cent type of order. <laughs> I'm not knocking you at all, sir. No. So it, I don't know if I ha I would have to check my tablet to see and my Kindle app to see if I have it. If not, if not, might have to at least get the physical version. Oh, yes. I know there's a good chance this is on Amazon today available. Yes, it is. So uh, search for Jokers. I mean, this is the current... At least one of the covers, I, the, I'll tell you this folks, ladies and gentlemen, young and old, this is the image I've seen go across my Facebook feed. This is the image, if not Amazon or somebody has emailed me and say, hey, check out Jericho Spain. That's it. So. And we're looking at uh, book one, book, book two, two, and newest book edition, two. book three. Can I have your card? Yes. That way I can... Um, wink you or you know mention you at least there's an instagram account that way people could find you that way yes they can so when the video comes up i always message you on instagram saying the video is up ours alley has been that whole aspect and i'd appreciate it so going around to other todd napier artist Independent artist and illustrated digital aspect. That's the thing, a lot of people are going from uh, pen and paper art to digital aspect because it's easier. We have. How do you pronounce the name of your. Awkward Arts. Awkward, okay. I just want to make sure, sir. So I hope. Uh, first time at First State? Or first, time, first time at this location. At this location? I went to yeah, so you're part of the Harrisburg family? Yes, sir. Okay. Welcome to the Harrisburg family, uh, Hagerstown family. I appreciate it. So, as uh, say folks, uh, many of our promotional posts, this is the one of the first times where the Hagerstown family is meeting the Harrisburg family. So, and we have this wonderful person here, Olivia Darius, uh, author. Yes, you Who's, uh, who's Olivia? Okay, Olivia. you. Yes. You. Uh, tell me about your work. I would love to tell you about my work. So I have sci-fi and fantasy books here. These are short story collections. Those are my original works. Uh, this one is about uh, technology that was perfect and then everything fails at once. And then I have three novelettes, just little afternoon reads. Not quite a short story, but not quite a full book. <laughs> These are just uh, like uh, yeah, collections. Yes, yeah, so these are collections. So I'm like just one of many authors who worked on those. Okay. Yeah. Do you have um, Do you have like a business card that I could at least yeah. uh, link good. your you. stuff to the video when I post it up? Dude, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. So I just wanted to give Artist Alley their own unique oh, video. That is so outside of you. the vendors yeah. aspect. So. Thank you. I really appreciate no problem. that. It should be up within the next couple of days. Awesome. And what's your uh, Long Coat Mafia podcast. Okay. All right. Um, I'll get some, if your email's yeah. on here or yes. whatever, yeah. I'll, I'll uh, send you yeah. guys a link through somewhere, somehow. Um, uh, we you. have a booth in A11, at A, not uh -huh. A, I11. Okay. Awesome. I have to remember, we're Ellen at I11. There you go. There. <laughs> so, also, uh, we have another one right next to Olivia Barrier? Barrier. Barrier. Yeah. We have author Sean McLean here today. Yeah, definitely. Who's Sean? I am. You're Sean. Yes, sir. Okay, awesome. Tell me a little bit about your series. All right. Um, well, I've got my zombies stories are Respect the Dead and Nothing is Certain. And then my ghost series is about a young woman who is killed in the 1930s. And she realizes she's dead and trapped in the house of the man who killed her and it just kind of falls apart from there for her um, she's stuck in the house with evil can't escape and then uh, some people show up and want to help her and that's really when they unleash all kinds of demons and witchcraft and murders spanning decades how long have you been an author uh, probably about eight years now um, so I've written Five books, and I've got several more coming. <laughs> nice. I took one of your cards once the video is posted. Uh, I'll 
probably uh, eventually it'll take me time to post all the links all, all the links to where people could find you let me guess Amazon as well as Amazon as well as any mm-hmm. outlet any outlet at all so um, just had to order them mostly <laughs> I'm in a couple books so uh, again I'll link to where people could find you so it's just sake of for the video so thank you thank you very nice much nice meeting you sir and we have these folks here hello how you doing doing alright Good. What do we have here? So Tell us. everything here, it's handmade, originally sculpted polymer clay. Polymer clay. Yep. Uh, basically, for what? Like D and D? A lot of people or get t- it for D and D miniatures. A couple people get them for just display purposes. So it's a mix of things. People sort of find uses for them. A lot of different stuff. Yeah. Tabletop and Ooh, gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> And what I am going to do is I want to take a card from you. Absolutely. And for Etsy and Instagram on the back. What I'm going to do is I'll when I hopefully when I upload the video I'll put everybody's links to where they could find your product. So somebody like in Michigan sees this video um, and they are interested in any of your work, they'll be able to at least find a way to contact you. That's fantastic. Thank you. So, I appreciate it. I probably won't be getting much, but it's that aspect of just in case. Yeah, man. That, that's fantastic. Thank you. No problem. Appreciate it. And we have these wonderful people here with mystery bags. Mystery bags, folks. You gotta love mystery bags and independent artists like this person right here. Tell me about yourself. Uh, I'm a uh, Virginia artist. Um, I'm trying to make art a uh, living. So, as t- so folks, we said in, in our promotional site, there's a lot of local artists in here trying to do their thing. You have to come to Artist Alley to support local artists that are trying to make it. So, especially if you can't really get something, if you like what you see here, but want to try something smaller, there you go. There you go. And if you mind, I'll take a card off of you. And that way I could try to link you, you to the video. Awesome. So, thank you. And we're going to go around here. I'll to, 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 I'll to. We're right here at Gilly, Mur- Gilly Murphy Press. With a lot of different artwork and a lot of mystery stuff as well folks at home you go again we always said we love an artist alley you guys if you don't like what the mainstream people are doing you got to come to artist alley and folks if you're an independent youtuber like what a podcast like us these are what you need to get you can always do the openings like them hate them whatever Play, oh, we don't care if you play uh, unboxings or openings are played out. It's content, ladies and gentlemen. It's content. And tickers, stickers, $2, 35 plus. You get D&D monsters and tokens and stuff that you can use. Oh, I might have to pick up one of those because we have, I know somebody that's a fan of these type of creatures. So, I'm going to take a card. And more, more. My, um, oh, excuse me. And we have the art world of Jeremy Ruby. Hey, what's going on? Selling prints and independent. Huh? Tell me a little bit. I know you're busy. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself, sir? Uh, just an independent artist uh, trying to do my thing. And we have also the art of David. Yo. How's it How do you pronounce your last name, sir? Because it's I don't want to put. It's very German, but it's pronounced Lobman if you're saying it like an American. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, it's so American. God. <laughs> How would you actually pronounce it? Lipman. 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 Yeah. And here's some of the three. <laughs> Thank you. David's work. Here's that spawn with me. Yeah, it's a bunch of gold ink stuff. Uh, some fantasy Six art cents. over here for Dungeons and Dragons, that sort of thing. Some man-made video game fan art as well. Do you have a card? Uh, I have an Instagram up there. It's Art of David Lopeman. Um, I think I got a car in 2000. That way, and there's his uh, website, davidlopeman.com. That way, I can easily link it in the video. Whoa. Oh, oh. No! There you go. No! Why? Why? 
That way, uh, folks, if you're a D&D &D fan or if you want so a print something like this, you're able to uh, contact David and hopefully purchase one of his artworks and help support an independent creator. Please do. So, as we go down the line, Nine Heart Comics and Cartoons, one of the many, many independent creators here. Tell me about yourself, sir. Um, so I'm a cartoonist. I do uh, several different comics. No, this one's about a pirate. It's like an anthropomorphic pirate story. This one's a comic strip that's a humor comic about um, technology and stuff like that. This is uh, another comic strip about a yard gnome who thinks that his world is his yard and he has to defend it. And then I do a bunch of other artwork that I'm selling as prints. Where can people find you? Uh, Lineheight.co. Okay. Yeah. You can click one of those okay. if you want. That way I could link people to in the video. Uh, folks, again, the wonderful, the hardworking, we've seen her in many other shows, <laughs> Fall Arts, and I swear she's gotten chipped on a lot of events. Yeah, if you see this lovely lady at an event, support her work. She's very hardworking, very quiet. <laughs> you got it. We, we've seen her at so many events, and especially those in Waynesboro, and I think last Waynesboro event we saw you at, she got gypped out of a panel. Did you get gypped out of that panel? You were supposed to do a panel. Oh, yeah. yeah. We were supposed to have another... Uh, a pan drawing panel or... Yeah. There was an artist panel. I was supposed to have another... Um, I was supposed to have another... Mm. Illustration panel. Illustration panel. Yeah. Yeah. Illustrator's panel. But they didn't come mm. so I was with two spray paint artists. So... so. It was like straight to me. So I'm like, oh man, she got gypped out of that panel. Oh. So, folks, for us, uh, I think uh, I'll put her, the links that we have from her panel that we recorded uh, a year or two. Last time we were at the event in Waynesboro, we got a panel from her. We'll copy and paste her links in the description where you can find this wonderful person. And hopefully, speak, you would have to speak to her in regards to getting a print from her and something off of us. You guys support your local creators. Good seeing you. Good luck. And we have this person right here. How you doing? Doing alright. Can you tell me a little bit about your work, sir? Sure. Um, I, I write fantasy and science fiction. Um, my first series is uh, called the New Pantheon series. Uh, these are the first two of five planned books. It's about uh, teenagers who uh, gain immortality and magical powers, but then learn that they have to stop an invasion of giants. And in the second book, a swarm of fairies begins to infiltrate the earth and mess with their friends, and the teens have to not only put a stop to them, but also learn what the fairies' true purpose on earth is. My next series is uh, The Dance of the Gozen, first of a planned trilogy. This is a military mecha sci-fi um, about a man who uh, joins a mech company on a faraway planet to help uh, stop a terrorist insurrection, the same terrorists who took the life of his yeah, the previous company commander. And in the process, he has to deal with strange aliens, uh, internal prejudices, and, uh, uh, and obviously the terrorist threats. Um, so it's, it's uh, as I said, the first of the planned series. And then my final, final book is also the first book of a planned series. This is about a boy who follows an ogre onto a mysterious vessel that travels between worlds and dimensions, only to, to learn that he can't go back home. Now he has to uh, find a new home among the strange worlds and creatures that he can have in, in, in encounters. This actually has internal illustrations too for the, to make it more acceptable for, uh, more acceptable for the younger reader. And I can't find one now, of course, there. That's a good example right there. So. <laughs> And this is where you can find. Yes, all my books are available on Amazon. <laughs> so, As always. Oh. And, uh, no, you're fine. Uh, if, uh, feel free. Feel free to take a bookmark if you like. Uh, we'll come back around. Sure. And even though we can't forget about this art person right here, he is <laughs> about to flip his table because things are not working out right. Well, we'll come back to you, sir, Thank while you, you get uh, set up, and hopefully, so. We, we don't want to, we're not neglecting this gentleman here, folks, is that he's trying to get set up with his work, so. Thank you. 
and Hungry Artist LLC. How you doing, sir? Good. How doing you? all right? Doing all right? How about yourself? Uh, I'm good. First time at Four State? First time at Four State. I hope you, hope you do. First time oh, you're, you're a Harrisburg family. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Hagerstown family. Thank you, thank you. Then we have, well, these people are non-existent, but we have this knucklehead. We don't know about this knucklehead, but... <laughs> you don't know about this knucklehead? You don't know about... But, uh, that I'll be... <laughs> I was like, in this face, you can't, no one can hear you make up about stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll probably be over the next couple of... Next two day, uh, today and tomorrow probably bugging this person over. I'm fine with that. And he has a lot of stuff. It will be definitely not to mention that he works with EPG Films, and he's part of Mortician. With, and stay tuned for the Mortician for, Spotlight vendor Spotlight. He's on for sale at our table, but I put him so. out here so you can see it and go get your copy. So he's Cyrus. He plays a silent we'll, role, and of course, yeah. We'll, fun we'll be definitely linking. His YouTube channel and how to find him as always. Yep. So, and don't forget to. He does have a uh, PNG Studios. Correct. He does have all that. All his links will be available in the description down below. All right, we got five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes, five minutes but still, we have yet. Yet. Wait a minute. Didn't we? How you doing, man? Hello. 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 Yeah, Tell me about. You're, you're J.P. Jackson, right? Yes, yeah. Tell me about your stuff, sir. So I am an animator, I'm a comic book artist, and basically um, I've produced all the work you see here, um, all the artwork. I write and illustrate comics as well, and these are some other different projects I've worked on. First time at Four States, sir? Us. Uh, I was at or Harrisburg. You're, you're part of the Harrisburg family. Yeah. How dare you? <laughs> no, brother, welcome to the Hagerstown family. Welcome. Glad to see you here. I hope you do well here. Uh, I'm in hearing that they've gotten like record sa ticket sales. So I hope you do well. Good luck to you. Probably see you around this weekend. We're at Ellen, uh, Chris. Chris Jordan. We're at Ellen at uh, I-11. So that's how I'm remember Ellen at I-11. <laughs> so take care. Good luck, man. No problem. And we have this independent artist right here doing his thing. And finally, the man, the myth, for those of you, for those of you out there that know the name, Jason Lennox, we interviewed this man for our show like two years ago, one of our biggest episodes that we have done, or I said put out, it's one of our biggest downloads, it has over, well for us, over 400 downloads, but still, it's wonderful, it's nice to meet you Jason. How have you been doing? I'm doing great. Uh, what's been new? What's, I know it's been a while. So uh, the Satanic Coloring Book um, is now available as a PDF to get on my Etsy store. So you can go to Lennox Art Emporium on Etsy and get a PDF copy. And the print proofs are coming next week so I can fulfill all my Kickstarter backers. And then we'll have these all for sale at shows. Coolness. So that's probably the newest so, new thing that I've got going so on. So folks, if you're able to get this, get it. Piss off that extreme fundamentalist Christian uh, person just your, uh, trigger them in, in your life we have animals and we have rituals right so it's good stuff and if you like to this, is, this is where you can find plus we'll um, I'll research in our back catalog and find all your I think we have links in regards to you when we spoke to you well um, I can make it really easy because I have a business card right here that has all that good information right there okay and we'll make sure that everything's updated and when we drop this video uh, we'll put all the links of everybody we spoke to and, and I hope to be back on your show soon uh, hopefully soon yeah, I, was, I gotta start recording again so yeah man again nice meeting you sir good luck nice point of view right so your yeah. hand just comes right out of the lens yeah. thank you so, so take much care. thanks my friend